Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Pitchside Podcast. And as usual, an amazing lineup. Uh, this time I'm coming defensively strong. Yeah. 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 I got uh, Wayne Arenza with me. Welcome. Thanks Bro. for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Domi, Domi. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I like that. Amazing game last night. Mm. Uh, we won 3 1 versus Stellenbosch um, and set a new PSL record mm. 32 games unbeaten. So, a game of records, they call you sitting there yes. by yourself yeah. with a table. I don't know, the last table or this kind of table, yeah. but you're on your own there. Um, I'm sure the boys are proud of themselves you yeah. know, to come this far and you know continue winning football matches. Wayne will tell you uh, about the, the addiction of winning football matches. Yeah. Once you start, you don't want to stop. Yeah. But at the same time, it, there is a stress in between that because mm. you don't want to spoil this thing. Mm. Yes. And you don't know where to touch in that because everything that you have, you've been doing all this time has been working so well. Yeah. So um, in that stress, it's, it's, it's a nice stress, yeah. Uh, yeah. so to say, because then uh, you, you, you continue winning matches under uh. that stress. But... You, you don't want to spoil it. At you, all. you wish you can start la last longer and, and, and enjoy it forever. Yeah. Wayne, yeah, tell yeah. me about it. Uh, the stress that uh, Thompo alludes to. Now, is that stress after the game, leading up to the next one, or is it just a stressful period to say the next ones cannot beat us? Yeah, it's obviously, like you say, the stress will always be there. They, yeah. they always say you're only as good as your last game. Yeah. You know? So um, at the trajectory that Sundowns is going now, you know, Everybody's coming in, who's getting a chance to play, everybody's performing. Yeah. And obviously the stress is on the coach. Um, <laughs> he's got a headache. He, yeah. You know? Yeah. Because everybody's doing the business in the pitch. Mm. And, and and it's good to have that kind of stress as a coach mm. because you know, you you're changing up here, but at all you're getting the results, you're getting the performances and you know, um but it's good for the team, yes. you know, it's good for the morale, the confidence going forward mm. and also um just to create that cushion because you know that uh, they're going to be bombarded with lots of games coming up yep. mm. you know champions league cup games yeah. league you know so it's a good stress yes yeah. um but they receive positive results i'm not say positive as an excellent yeah. you know um and then like you've been saying the the records you know mm. the, the way they're going um they're going to kill the records mm. <laughs> all know? of them i think they're going to go <laughs> bypass 72 yeah. 80 points you know the way they're going yeah um but it's 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 good to the players, good to the technical team. It's mm. applause to them. Shlompo keeps speaking about winning becoming addictive. He says you crave it after each and every game. You almost feel like after today's game, you guys could be playing the next one the very next day just to keep the momentum going. Yeah, 100%. You know, um, when you do things in life, you know, it's, it's in, your, in your muscle memory, to put it yeah. that way, mm, in the back yeah. of your brain, where you do things becomes a habit, you know. Yeah. It's, like, it's like driving a car. Yeah. You don't think about it. You get and in, you know how to drive the car, you know when to change gears. Mm. It's the same. It becomes a habit. You win, yeah. you win, it becomes a habit. You know the next game, I want to win, I want to win. So it's, I also tell my, the boys in, in the academy mm. that winning is a habit. Yeah. Mm. It's, you don't just decide, okay, today I will win. No. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's a process, you know. Yeah. You start from training, you win your small sided games, you win your duels, and, and that's what takes it into the game. Mm. Yeah. So, like I said, 100%, it's in your DNA, it becomes a habit, and it just gets a part of you. Amazing. We saw uh, young Mapena get a goal last night. Uh, very unselfish of uh, Peter there, who was clear on goal, but still yeah. decided to pass it to give it to him. Well, it's a, a maturity uh, that comes with playing mm -hmm. for Mamelodi Sundance, yeah. where you realize that uh, you have done so much as, yes. a, as a player and uh, um, Peter he's just a selfless uh, player uh, yeah. you you by you can easily see by the, his performances in every match that he he, he plays mm. um, I've never seen a player that will as a striker come and defend from a corner flag yeah and I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I, I, I always say uh, universe really really reward the people who work 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 very hard mm. in, in their life and Peter is just a, a good example of yeah. what the hard work uh, does to a human being and um, having to see him you know being like a brother to a younger kid Phew. to say mm. have a taste of what it feels to score in a yeah. PSL match that was I don't know how to, how to put it but that was a, a, a good moment for, 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 for the club and for the ones that are still want to mm. to play this game to say Sometimes uh, when you are playing the team, it's not about you. Mm. Uh, it's about the, the group and um, 
and and Wayne will tell you we we had a, a nice cohesion of, of players that yeah. played together and loved to play together and as a result it's no longer about who scores the goal yeah it's about wo- the team has to win regardless yes. who yes. put in yeah. the, the jersey and i think with that you can tell that sundowns is at that level where it's no longer about naves score for us yes it's a it's a, it's a collective so yeah. even the records that they keep breaking it's it gonna go down as a team that has played in this jersey mm. you know you're gonna remember that generation that has brought whatever record so 100%. and i come sitting here with wayne we are the generation that we're gonna be remembered by bringing the star mm. here at home mm. and we were fortunate of course at the time but i think this is the uh, uh, the, the maturity of, of playing for this team of, of, of good players amazing what do you say to him the next day i mean he's 16 years old he scored his first psl game how do you keep his legs on the ground for lack of a better term yeah obviously um for me obviously you just encourage the boy like yeah. you congratulate him yes for the yeah. goal obviously you need to show that y- you acknowledge his performances but at the same time you know tell him that there's still a long road to go yeah, you true, know true. and just just be that that figure for him you know where mm-hmm. you can look up to like like peter in this case you know mm-hmm. he looks up you need to look up to peter and say okay he wants to emulate, you know, mm. do this hard work, you know, and the small details like the, like Kike is saying, hard work, the pressing, you know, yes. then things will come out, you know, yeah. your talent will eventually show because he is talented enough yeah. and that will just sh- show. Yeah. So I, I think you just need to stay humble because mm. long season ahead and he has time on his hands, but at the same time, he needs to work hard because you're at the club at sundowns and you're not working hard you in with a problem but but I can see the brotherhood is there in the team. Mm. Yeah. You know, every everybody is there for each other, they're defending, attacking as a team. So it's it's, it's looking really good. And we we're, we're talking about a sixteen year old. Yes. Yeah. So we cannot put him under pressure yet because yeah. we don't know um what the future holds for him. Yes. But we can be hopeful and try to give him as much opportunities as we can mm. just to, to for him to express him in that yeah. level. Because I can tell you, there's n- in a big team like this, there's no enough time for a player to to be young. For yeah. yeah. Remember Percy when he came, we used yeah. to remind him that he's still young. So you yeah. have to mm. be young while you still can have mm. these opportunities. Yeah. And when when the time came for him to leave the team, he we we throw him in the deep end, and uh, yeah. he had to swim because there was no time. Yeah. He plays for a, a bigger team. So I think with the young Mabena, um, as Wayne is saying. Um, he needs to be very humble and try to grasp every information yeah. impossible, impossible, uh, possible in front of him. Yeah. And I'm sure in the near future he'll be he'll be playing for. And, for in, sa- and in saying that, uh, you, mm. as much as they're young, but mm. we must also know that the mistakes will come. Yeah, mm. for sure. He, he will miss the one on ones. Mm. You know, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, he will. You know, make Speaking, mistakes. Yeah. Speaking mm. on that, I mean, after he scored the goal, yeah. Yeah. Um, he then gets the ball, drives past one, mm. past two. And instead of the layoff, tries to go yes. after the third one. Yeah. Then it happens yeah. again. But yeah. it was amazing to see the group then coming together straight after the game mm. to say, "You've beaten two. Pass. Let the ball out." Exactly. Mm. So yeah. you see, it's those are the. Year old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm sure he's gonna exactly. get to that level. But yeah. those are the the moments where you, as a senior player, like the, like the team came, you know, just guide him a bit. Mm. But he knows that he's still young. The mistakes will come. Mm. But you know. So, like I said, the brotherhood is there and mm. that, that's that's important in the team. Of us. Yeah, I think the most important thing we can take out of that is that there's still lots more work to be done. Yep. And uh, he's still got a lot of learning and growing to do amongst, I mean, the people he's playing with. Yes, Some yes. of them are seasoned with yeah. eight uh, PSL titles, if mm. not more. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's a process mm. uh, in a football. Every player will tell you, um, I played 19 years in a professional level, yeah. but there was there was session that I'll come and learn. Yes. Mm. So it, the, if you if you come to training and you don't learn anything, then it's a problem. It's so a I problem. think we, with him as a 16 year old, mm. oh, when he will tell you he played with Adris Button. At the time mm. we saw him, we watched him from from when we were still at school, yeah. Yeah. and we played with him. And you can tell that guy was coming to training still with the same mm. coming to learn and open his mind. So I think as a 16 year old, you can easily do justice yeah. by making sure that every information that comes your way you take it because i don't think we're going to call him a youngster no. uh, uh, after you know f- three seasons because no. after no. three seasons you, you should be a, yeah. a senior person yeah. because you've been in the experience of of in a space where people are winning football matches mm. so the, the experience will take you to be 
a young senior. I mean, player. at 17, you'll have two DSTV uh, uh, league medals. Yeah. So yeah. there's no ways you can be considered a, a youngster. A youngster yeah. anymore. No. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, um, speaking about the youngsters, you know, when when I was playing, you know, you had the late Madisha. Mm-hmm. Yes. I saw rest in peace. You had Percy Tau. It was there. You know. It was it was also rewarding for you as a, as a senior player when their players want to know by you what, what it takes more mm. and what to do. You yes. Know? Then then you answer normally the simple ones. You know, watch your game. You know, yeah. listen to the senior player KK um, Kennedy. You know, the yes. senior team guys in the team. Yeah. So uh, for, for for juniors, I will also say for the youngsters coming up as well. Speak to the senior players, you mm. know, because they've been there, they know what you're, and you can only learn. Yeah. Mm. And you can only learn and improve. I, I can't imagine the pressure or how he must be feeling. I mean, you played a PSL game the night before, you scored a goal, and the next morning you're sitting in class mm. with with your peers who are. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's, well, a different, it's a different ball game altogether. Mm. I think it, it should go back to um, the. the, 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 the up bringing of, of the kid. Yes. He needs to really, really um, not forget that being a footballer, you're still a human being. Yes. Mm. So uh, he needs to find a balance. Like I said, he's still a 15-year-old. He needs to be mm. reminded every time to that mm. you're still a kid. Um, uh, 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 somebody must tell him his mother's uh, name so that I can easily call him by his mother's name. Oh, we're not going to beat. Yeah. So that he must yes. know that yeah. he's a kid. Yeah. So, mm. so he, when he goes to school, he must remem- remember that he's still a kid. He must mm. make, make sure that he he does what the, the other kids are doing. Yes. And he needs to find a balance. I'm not sure it's, it's, a, it's a difficult thing to, to find that balance. But um, um, when you find senior players, like when you say, um, it's easier for you. They're approachable. Temba Zwan is one of the guys that yeah. I know. 100%. With 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 my eyes closed, I can easily ask Temba, how do you do that 10? Mm-hmm. He plays in a similar position, I'm sure. It's mm-hmm. easier for him to, to go to Temba and, and everybody else. I can mention a lot of, lot of guys that are approachable in the team. So mm-hmm. I think, like you said, when the brotherhood for me, it will help the younger ones to even yeah. settle in in this level. And I think... Um, the sky is the limit for him. Quotables, Wayne, we're so rude, man. Uh, we do have Red Bulls here for you. Uh, oh, usually, yeah. Thompo is the one that, you know. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to trigger, yeah. trigger somebody. But, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, thanks. He didn't offer me. You're but usually the one who does the offering. Yeah, so today um, I'm, I'm star track. Okay. This guy gave me a, 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 a medal and a Champions League and a yeah. six medal and a seven and eight and a nine. So <laughs> I regard him as a senior man. <laughs> Speaking on Champions League, uh, when you've traveled the continent, yeah. how difficult is it? Yeah, obviously, um, it, it has its challenges. Yes. You know, with the different flights and the bus drive um, conditions. <laughs> it's just sometimes. A nightmare, but um, once you're in a space, you, I think you, you you learn to adapt a little yeah. bit uh, because in the end of the day, um, you you know what why you're there for, um, you know what you want to achieve as yeah. a team. But um, once you're there, because you know the objective of, of the team, mm-hmm. and as a professional, you would adjust. You know, yeah. so, do you know why I'm laughing? Yeah, I'm laughing about uh, when you say bus drive. Oh, <laughs> I remember yeah. you. Ed me long, and Brad T. Ed Long, Brad D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask. I mean, I, I have the privilege of, of sitting here with Sugar and Thompa, and they yeah. tell me so many stories. What is the one memory that you have that really said to you, yeah, we're playing Champions League here. What happened? Please, just if you can just take us through it. No, obviously, the one memory that always stands out for everybody is when the trip we went to, I think, Congo. Yeah. Yeah, we had to go through... Uh, a road that was 15 just, hours drive. Yeah, I don't know. How, it was, just <laughs> yeah, it was so long longer than 15. Yeah. You know, we had to go to the bush to go pee, to go to the toilet, yeah. you know. And at the same time, it was scary because mm. there, there was talks about the rebels there. At that time, yeah. At, at that, that time, time at you know. Time, yeah. mm. And it was just the road and push on the side. Yeah. What did we eat? And we had biscuits. <laughs> you know, it was just uh, And peanuts. And yeah, because there was no, it nothing. Was nothing. Really. Yeah. Yeah. And the so, chef lied that he, he cooked. Yeah. yeah. He will meet us on the way. He will give us uh, lunch. Yeah. Oh, we drove 15 <laughs> plus. <laughs> Yo, we never met the guy. Yeah. But, you know, like looking back <laughs> and what we went through as a team. Yeah. Um, just thinking of 
the, the difficult conditions, you know. Yeah. It's like you say, a baby starts crawling before he can walk. Yeah. Mm. You know, we started right at the bottom there and we worked our way up to mm. eventually lifting the title and that was the re most rewarding part of it. Yeah. 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 You know, so um, I always say, you can't just come and just want to succeed. No, no, no. You need to start at the bottom, mm. you know, to grind, you know, things out first mm. before the really, even you're starting a business, you know, mm. starting with, you need to start, you know, you, you lose this yeah. and that, but eventually you'll you pick climb up the ladder. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, we're playing in, in the Champions League. We played away and we beat them 4-0. Mm -hmm. And now it's it's the home leg. Um, and I always ask this, do we change the starting lineup again? Um, because, I mean, we're four goals up. Mm. What, what do we do now that we're playing at home? But well, the time we were, we were, when we were playing, we used to try and rotate uh, the guys as, as, as much as we mm. can. Yes. Especially now that we know that the calendar is going to be big. And, yeah. Um, um, I think the guys that started uh, the match in, in, in Tanzania know very well that uh, they've done the job. Yes. Um, and at, if you recall very well, I mentioned that the, at Sundowns, they've matured enough to understand that whoever put on the jersey has to deliver the business for on the day. So. Mm. I think you can easily tell by the by the team the way they they like you know playing with each other yeah. that uh, it it, do, it doesn't really matter who's gonna play on that day. Mm. The coach has got that has got that a headache for to, <laughs> to deal with it. The mm. players just have to show up and make sure that they play. Mm. Um, of course, you need to change, mm. uh, especially after the the, the week that uh, the club comes from. Mm. You know, playing two big teams in the space of yes. two, three mm. days. Yeah. That is taxing. When we'll tell you about uh, the, the amount of, of, of uh, you know, the load that is on the on the boys' feet, and I mm -hmm. think they want at least ch just to tone it down a little bit, and then then the, the, the ones who never played, they need to take the the bait and run with it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember Shampo, you got tested once because you <laughs> <laughs> you were called aside. We counted the number of games that you had played, and they said no, no, it's not make sure here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, it's a it's a crazy world in Champions League. Game. Yeah. So, but I think we 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 were in the space where, like I said. This adrenaline of winning football yes. matches yeah. is just nice. Man. Yeah. So even when you go play, you don't you no longer feeling um, the pain, the knocks. You don't feel that. Mm -hmm. I just know I'm going to see winner and say. Yes. So you 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 love playing with winner and then you you will do anything to to make sure that um, you you satisfy what winner and say would like to see at the end of the match. Yeah. So I think with that load and numbers of games that I played in that season it was abnormal for any player, of yeah. course. But uh, I'd never see that drama come <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to, to say, okay, we want to test him. Yeah, like, yeah. why? <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't see that drama coming. But, but I think, uh, like, I yeah. think we're a bit um, more advanced yes. now. Yeah. So I'm sure the, the, the medical team, the biokineticists, the physio, you know, they will see, okay, your Tembas one is how mm. many kilometers has been running, mm. you know, um, how's your feeling, you know. It, all those statistics will come out now yes. and say oh, the coach probably say okay this one probably needs a few minutes under mm. his belt this one needs a 90 minutes yeah. this one needs yeah. a rest you know it's it's a good headache for the coach because mm. they, they fall now up and it's a chance for him also to see where the other guys are at mm. you know and and also to give the other guys a rest those guys are playing lots of minutes mm. so um I think they're really in a good space. Mm -hmm. But it makes it difficult, doesn't it? You want to give, for example, Temba Zwane a break, but Temba Zwane wants to play. Yeah, well, <laughs> it used to be my problem. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> it used to be my problem, and I'll tell you what. Um, as a player, you just want to see yourself on that pitch and do your business. Yeah. But at the same time, and, and, and I think that, fortunate enough, it came with the maturity of, of being the team for too long and then you realize that you're carrying so much responsibility yes. on your shoulder for so many players. Yeah. You know, you know for, 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 for the young Mabena to receive his gold medal, mm. first gold medal, Temba, he needs Temba to be on that field. Yes. Yeah. So as Temba can be selfish now and, and say, no, I want to be play this so many games. Mm. He needs to save himself for those important, very, very important because yeah. yes. um, there's very important uh, football matches for yeah. Sundance. But mm. I'm sure this kind of a match, uh, you'll want to rest Temba. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I'm sure Coach will want to try and play a new scheme of, of play and yeah. try new players and formation. And, and mm. in that, Wayne will tell you about the formations. Mm. Um, and I think that will give uh, a coach a new, um, uh, maybe a picture on how you should see the 
the, the other teams and uh, mm. when he lineups and against other yeah. teams. Yes, yes. So that helps. And uh, but at the same time, whew, it's a stress that every player. And I remember uh, the coach used to tell me, "Okay, tomorrow we're resting. You will give you 40 minutes." In 40 minutes already, <laughs> the adrenaline is high. You feel like I'm in the game, yeah, and yeah, when yeah. you see the port, they'll be like, "Oh, but uh, like, we, yeah. we we spoke about this." Yeah. <laughs> Tempe is one of those players. Yeah, That's what it is. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's just a funny business. Amazing stuff, man. Wayne, thank you very much for joining us. Really do appreciate you coming back to spend time here. No, um, hopefully, you still have fond good memories and. I see your smile, so that's... Yeah, no, <laughs> the memories will last forever. Yes. Yeah, it's sure. one thing you can't take away, mm. you know, so, but yeah, forever grateful for you guys, Sundowns, mm -hmm. family, yeah. Yeah. and thanks for hosting. Thank you Thank very you. much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us your comments. The Pitchside Podcast. Mm -hmm.